So I am going to be using a size G crochet hook today. And this is a medium yarn of four, but it is 100% cotton. And it is just so perfect for this hat because it makes it quite stiff. So there it is, 100% USA cotton. Now, I don't know if you've ever crocheted with 100% cotton yarn, but it is a little tricky in the fact that it does like to split a little bit. So it can take a little bit longer to learn how to use it, but it works great. And we're gonna be making a magic circle. So a lot of people might not know how to make a magic circle, but it's really the easiest and most um, rewarding stitch just because I wanna show you what it does. Um, here in the middle is where you're gonna start and you're able to tighten that really well so you don't have a big hole. If you were to do, um, say, the chain four and do it that way, uh, that hole would be bigger. So just thought I'd share that. And if you've never made a magic circle before, you just take the long tail in your hand, yarn, or pull this yarn around and put it to the side. And then you're just going to go up underneath both of them, pull that through, kind of drop your yarn down, and then just pick up and do one stitch to secure it. And then you can pull this little piece like that and then you're just going to chain two so you really have a total of three chains and we are going to half double crochet so you're going to yarn over and half double crochet inside of the circle like that and you're going to make eight double crochets make sure you hold on to this tightly takes a little getting used to, but I think once you learn it, you're really going to like it. And then you're just going to make eight of these half double crochets. And the chain three does count as your half double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five. Six. See, sometimes you can lose your grip a little bit, but you just have to make this smaller. So you're going to pull this short piece of yarn, and it will shorten up that middle. And that's why they call it the magic circle. And then go through here. Hopefully I have eight. Okay, let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're going to take this short end again and you're going to pull that together. So you're going to make a circle in the middle. And the magic circle, look how tight that center gets, which is so good. I love that. So you're not going to have a big hole on the top of your head. <laughs> and you're just going to yarn over and you're going to join in the top of the chain, but in, in the second chain, not in the third chain. Okay. So you're going to pull this through because you're doing a half double crochet. I know that's a little tricky at this point just because it's a half double crochet and you just pull it right through. So that's what it should look like. And then you're going to yarn over and you're not, you're not chaining one. Do you see how I did that? You're just going to yarn over and you're going to go into that same stitch with another half double crochet. So since it's a spiral, it's going to be going up and around and around. So let me just show you what my other hat looked like. So here is what it looks like. So it will look like it's in a spiral. So there is where I ended and there's where I started. It just keeps going around, okay? So I know it looks a little weird here, but I think there's a I don't think I uh, weaved in my ends in there. But anyway, it's not going to look perfect, but that's where you, you join on that next round. So anyway, that's what it should look like. Then you're going to want to do two stitches in each of these. So you're going to have a total of 16. And if you'd like to use a marker, just go right ahead and just put it in there so you'll know exactly where you started and just go around until you have um, you get back here with 16 stitches. Okay, so I just got back here to my stitch marker. So where that marker is, I have to put two more because I have 14 right now. 
So I'm going to put one, two. Okay. So I can take this out to show you. And there you go. So the next row you're going to do is gonna you're gonna do with one. So you're gonna have one in the next one, two in the next one, one in the next one, two, one, two, one, all the way around. Okay. Then I'm going to take out my hook. I'm going to put this marker inside of this stitch right here because that will be the next stitch that I'm going into. So I'm on round three. So round three, you're going to yarn over. You're going to make one stitch where that stitch marker is. And then in the next one, I'm going to do two stitches. And I am going to make a pattern of two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so this is two. This is one. This is two, one, two, into that one. So just go one, two, one, two, all the way around until you get back to where this stitch marker is. And then we will move on. So for this round, which is one, two, three, so we're on round four, I believe. So the pattern for this round will be um, basically two, in a row, one, two, and then two in the next one. One, two, and sometimes this yarn splits, so you have to be kind of careful. Then you're gonna do one in each of the next two stitches. and then two in the next one. So just do that until you get back to the beginning and we will start in the next row. So what you're gonna do is you wanna lay it down and you wanna make sure that it's laying flat because if it's curling up, um, it's probably too tight and you probably didn't add enough stitches. So as long as it's laying flat, no matter how many stitches you're adding, it's gonna work out just perfect because as we know some of us don't like to stick to a pattern <laughs> so I think it's a, a good lesson that you can just do whatever you want and as long as it's laying flat you're good so I'm gonna just go ahead and put this back in to my next round and then on this round what you're gonna do is you're going to um, you're going to do you're gonna start with two in the next one so let's go ahead and put two stitches, one, two. So I'm gonna yarn over and then I'm going to do three in a row with a single um, stitch in each one. So half double crochet in the next three stitches. And then one with two in it on this one, one, two. So as you can see, as we make it bigger and bigger, you're spacing them out more. So if you're doing three in a row here with two in the next, three in the three in a row, two in the next, on the next round, you're going to do two in one and then four in the next stitch. So just go ahead and make that pattern all the way around to get to the beginning and I'll see you at the next row. Okay, here I am. I'm back at the beginning. There is my stitch marker. And I just ended with, I'm going to end in the next stitch with two half double crochets in that very last one. So I guess I could tell you how many are on here at this point because some of you like, some of you like to know. So let me go ahead and count these real quick and let you know how many I have in this row. 
Okay, so at this point, I have 45 stitches around. So you will have somewhere close to that. And as long as it's laying flat like this, you are good to go. So let's go ahead and continue. I'm assuming this is one, two, three, four, five. We're going on row six. So just take out your stitch marker. Don't snag your yarn. I hate when that happens and go ahead and put the stitch marker into this first stitch right here okay so i have my stitch marker we just ended with two right here and i'm going to yarn over and i'm going to do four half double crochets in a row that's two three four and I'm going to half double crochet two in this next stitch because we're still increasing until we want to stop increasing. We have to keep um, doing this pattern, just increasing, you know, the space in between. So then you're going to do four again, one, two, three, four, and then two in the next one. And then just go ahead and meet me at the beginning of that stitch marker and then we will continue. We only have a few more rows to go, so we're almost there. Okay, so we're on row seven and what you're gonna do is you're going to move that stitch marker up again, put it in this first stitch right here. like that and we are going to let's see and so I just ended with a, the four in a row so I'm going to put two in let me just zoom in a little bit okay I'm zooming in you I ended with four in a row in each one and then I'm going to go into this first one with two one two and then the next one, we're going to do one in there. And so five in a row in the next five stitches. Two, three, four, five. And then two in the next one. One, two. And then just continue around with uh, five in a row, two, five in a row, two, five in a row, two. And then I'll meet you back at the beginning of the round. Okay, so we're on row eight. I'm going to take out my marker and move it up again. I know this is a long video. And I just want to make sure that everybody gets this right because this is the difference between making something and wearing it and not wearing it. If it doesn't turn out good, you're never going to wear it. So we just want to make sure that you are uh, following the directions and that you are able to have a product which you're going to love. So I, I apologize for the long video, but that's the way it goes, I guess. You know, if you want to teach someone, they need to see every step. Okay, so I did five in a row here, and in this next one, I'm going to start with two in the same stitch. One, two, and then I'm going to do six in a row. One two, three, four, five, six, and then two in the same stitch, and then just continue around. You know the drill. We'll get this done. So meet me back here at the beginning. Okay, before we move on to the next um, 
round. So this is the round that I just finished, but what I realize is that some people might have a smaller head. So if you have a small head and you should stop at that last row, so you should not have done this row, which is row eight, I believe. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So if you have a small head, just do seven rows. If you have a bigger head, then go ahead and do that eighth row. And then I'm just going to show you this. Let's see. So I measured my head and it's 22 inches. So that's how big I'm making my hat. If you have a smaller head, then you want to either, I'm on row eight. I did I did eight rows, my head measures 22 inches, so if yours is a little bit smaller, just do seven rows. And then 22 inches in the metric is about 38 centimeters, I'm assuming, and are these millimeters? Centimeters, millimeters. <laughs> so if you have the metric system, that's what you need to know. Let's go ahead and move on. We can take out this marker again and we are going to place it right in here on this next round. So we're going to put it here at the beginning of that stitch. Okay, so I just put my marker at the beginning of that stitch. If for some reason you do not have a measuring tape, you can use your hand. So I have pretty big hands for my size. <laughs> so you're just going to measure with the palm of your hand. And what you're going to do is you're going to want it about to here of your knuckles if you have an average size head. Um, I know it's a funny way to measure it, but that's how I usually measure my hands. I mean, my hats. That's usually how I measure my hats. So if you don't have a measuring tape, you can always use the palm of your hand. This one is a little bit big, so I would recommend either six or seven rows. And this has eight rows. So just keep that in mind. If you want to make a smaller, tighter hat, just make less rows. So don't do eight rows like I did. You can do six or seven. Hopefully that helps and doesn't make it too big. Finished my circle and I just wanted to show you the width of it. It's approximately seven inches wide. So somewhere in that range, if it's a little bit less, it's going to be somewhat tight. So I would suggest, you know, about seven to seven and a quarter inches. And if you have a metric system, then you're going to want to do 18 centimeters. We're just going to do half double crochets all the way around with no increasing. So leave your stitch marker in there and just go ahead and go all the way around with one in each stitch. You're not increasing anymore. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to um, adjust it to make it fit you. And because yours might be a little bit um, tighter or smaller or shorter, just depending on what you want. So as you can see, we can make these very custom. So once you get to the end of your last row, last and final row of increasing, so just let me show you, this is what we're, um, our goal is to get this. So if you left off at row eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more rounds of the half double crochet without increasing, and that's what it should start to look like. Okay, so here is the inside of the hat. Now this is where you started, and as you're crocheting it, you can turn it right side out. Or if you like the look of this side, you can leave it that way as well. So either way is good. And then what you can do here, we're going to start the brim. Now here's my marker, and as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. This will start the ninth if I want to add another one. At this point you're going to try it on. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, I thought I would just try this on real quick and let you see how it's supposed to be fitting. So again I showed you how many rows I had after my marker and then you're just going to put it on and all you want is it to fit real snug and just right above your eyebrows just like that. And that's what it looks like in the back. So just go ahead, try it on, and then we'll move to the next step. 
Okay, so this next step after you've tried it on is something that is going to tighten the fit around the base of the hat. So, because what you don't want it is to be all stretched out and not be able to wear it. So we want to tighten the fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the next two stitches with a slip stitch, just like that. And then you're going to drop down in here. Now you're going to be going in between each half double crochet. So all you're going to do is put your hook in here in between the stitch and you're going to loosely make a slip stitch. Just like that. Then you're going to go in between each stitch all the way around with a loose fitting slip stitch. So don't make it too tight because it will just tighten up automatically. So just go in between each one all the way around. You might want to put your marker in there, but you should be able to see where you started. So this is the one. So you're really going to want to end right here. So just go all the way around with that slip stitch in between each half double crochet in the row below, and then I'll see you at the next step. Hope you're having fun. Okay, so I'm nearing the end, and what I did is I went in between all of those half double crochets, and then you're going to try to join this and make it look nice. So just go ahead and do like two slip stitches, one, two, somewhere where you think it's gonna look good, like that. And I'm, I just might go under this one. I think that was the beginning one. So you want it to look like that. So go ahead and try this on again because you just did that flat looking, you just did a slip stitch all the way around. So you just want to make sure it's not too tight. So go ahead and try that on real quick. If it's too tight, come back and redo that and just do a little bit looser. That's what it should look like. Here we go. We're going to start the brim. This is so exciting. We're getting close. I hope you're enjoying this tutorial. Don't forget to like my video and leave me a comment. And also make sure that you share my video because I know other people are going to love this pattern. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go into each stitch, but you're going to do two single crochets in one stitch. Now we're switching over to single crochets because the half double crochet will make it too floppy. So you're going to go into the next one with one stitch, one single crochet. You're going to go into the next one with two. So you're making a repeat all the way around of two in one and then one in the other. So again, this pattern is super easy because of all the repetitive things that you get to do and you can whip this up in no time. I'm gonna say a couple hours, you can have the cutest sun hat on the planet. <laughs> so anyway, just do two, one, two, one, all the way around. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna have this little ridge here, so that will be on the inside of your hat. So you are doing it correctly if you notice that there's a ridge right here on the inside. Let me show you that on the white hat. See, there it is. So that's where you did that slip stitch to tighten it, and that's what it should look like when we're all done. So let's continue with the, this is the single crochet, and there's the half double crochet. So that's what we're trying to achieve. So let's continue. Okay, so I'm back, and you see my pillow there? How cute is that? Just please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And then don't forget to hit the notification bell because then you can see all of the new videos that I post. Okay, so I'm coming to the end and I am going to put in two stitches in this stitch. One, two. This is where I started, so I'm gonna go in here with one stitch, just like that. So I am going to start my next round without joining. Okay, so this is row two, or round two, but I am gonna finally take out my stitch marker, and I'm gonna be using that. Okay, so this is gonna be my first stitch. 
right here. Try not to split your yarn because sometimes that happens with this cotton yarn. So just go ahead and do one single crochet in every stitch around. Whoops. And then when you get back to your marker, I'll show you the next round. I'm almost at the end of round two. And then all I'm going to do is go right up to that stitch marker right there and just take out your stitch marker. You're going to want to move it up. So this will be starting round three. Okay, so I moved my stitch marker up to the next round. This is round three. And you're going to do two stitches into this marker space. Oh, let me get this out of here. There we go. So you're going to do one, two, that didn't work out so good, did it? <laughs> okay, push that down. This is two. Now I'm going to have two stitches in here. I just messed that up. Um, two stitches in the first one, and then one in the next four. So we're going to have one, two, three. Four, two, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four. Do that all the way around till you get to your marker again. So I just finished round three and now I'm going to start round four. So I am going to move my stitch marker again right here to this last stitch and I just put it under both loops just like that. So for round four, you're just going to single crochet in every stitch around. So that's an easy one. And also I'm just gonna show you how far I've gotten and you should be doing really good too. So this is what your hat should be looking like. And let me just go ahead and put it on the table. See if I can get it to stand. So see how it's starting to flare out here? That's exactly what you want. So you can try it on at this point if you'd like and see, you know, how it looks. What I love about this hat is it's so versatile. So you can make it a bucket hat. You can make it, you know, a, a shorter brim on it or a longer one, more floppy, whatever you'd like. And so just keep doing this, follow the pattern and the, the pattern will be in the description box for you. I am just going to go ahead and finish my single crochets all the way around and then just look in the description box and you will have the pattern in there. I will also put on the screen the um, stitches that you need to do for the next few rounds, but we're almost done. There's not very much more to go. So you have a few rows to do here. So let me go ahead and single crochet all the way around and I'll show you what row five will look like. Here we go, starting round five. And for round five, you are going to increase in every fifth stitch. So go ahead and put two into the marker. So you have one, two, and then in the next stitch, for five stitches, you're going to do the next five with a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and in that fifth one you're going to do two. So just continue that pattern all the way around and then I will see you for the next row. Hope you're enjoying this. Okay, so I finished row five. Okay, so it's getting a little bit bigger. So just go ahead from this point on and do single crochets and once you get back around then I'll show you the next row. Okay so I just finished round six and I had 155 stitches all the way around and I just ended right above the stitch marker which I didn't move from the last round. So I'm just going to show you here is that row this is the end of round six and it's looking really nice um this 
band right here. We want it to end up to be about, let's see, let me bring this hat over here. This is the white one that I showed in a previous video. And this is what we want it to look like. So we have on here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, probably like thirteen rows in the brim. So we are only about halfway there. In ours, we have about twelve. And so that's what it looks like right there. But again, you can make this as wide as you want. Just try not to go too wide because you don't want it to be too floppy. So on row seven, what we are gonna do is increase in every seventh stitch, okay? So go ahead and start on your next round and increase in every seventh, every seventh stitch. So you're gonna do two in this first one and then you're going to do seven in a row and then do um, two in the seventh. And then just continue all the way around until you have that increase. And then on the next row, on row eight, you are going to do all single crochets. So let's go ahead and just get that far. You know the drill, you don't have to watch me do it. And so I'll put that on the screen right here, what you need to do for each row. And then I will see you after I get eight rows done and then um, I'll show you the last few rows. For the final touch, what we're gonna do is go into three stitches right here with a slip stitch just like that and then right below here we're going to do slip stitches so we're going to do this all the way around the hat and don't make them too tight when we join the brim we also did slip stitches so you want to do the same process right here but you're doing it in the row below and just go in each of those spaces between the stitches and then when you get around to the back of your hat right back here I'll show you how to join and you'll be all done okay so I'm coming to the end of my slip stitch row and I'll show you we're just going around into these spaces Okay, so here is the edge, and you're going to just go into that last one. You can go, so I started here, this is where it went down. So you're gonna want to slip stitch into these last few stitches. A little tight. Right here. You can go this way if it's a little easier. And then just come right down here into that space, the first one where you started to dip down. Okay, so yeah, it's just as hard for me as it is you. <laughs> and then right here, this is what I'm talking about. This is where the edge is gonna be a little uneven. So you're just gonna cut here and then cut your yarn and then push it back through to the other side and then you can kind of weave it across here to even it out so anyway that doing that stitch right here in the next row below gives you some really nice added stability so i hope you enjoyed making this floppy hat and so if you would like to see my other video on the sun hat that doesn't have a floppy hat look to it then um, go ahead and click that and i'll put that right here in the iCards. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Have a blessed day. Take care.